This little girl picks up a power cord full of water and goes to the electrical outlet. Her mom, Yuari shouts to stop her, that's dangerous. No, Sia Wu. In an urgent situation, her stepmom stops her timely. On the way to school, Yuari can't stop blaming Sia Wu's stepmom. If you were just a second late, kids can cause trouble. But the stepmom doesn't see or hear her voice. She just passes through URI. Her name is Cha URI, a ghost. She can't see me. Five years ago, she and her husband fell in love at first sight. Then they had a baby daughter. But after an accident, URI died. When seeing her daughter grow up without a mother, URI doesn't want to go. So she turns into a ghost to secretly take care of her daughter. She is a ghost, nobody could see her. The sunshine is too bright, she wants to shade Sia Wu from the sun. But the sunshine just goes through her hand. Sia Wu turns around and hides behind her stepmom. When other people are nosy about her daughter, URI is so mad. Then she goes to her best friend's house to take out the anger. It's better to take care of your kids than to chat about other people's kids. Do you think you'll live forever or what? At home, URI is looking at the whole family having dinner. Her husband tells Sia Wu that, pick it back up if you spill it. URI is not happy with it. She's only five. How could she do on her own? Even though nobody sees her, being on Sia Wu's side like this. To watch her grow up every day is enough. At that time, it's so crowded in the funeral home. A chubby woman is teaching a lot of people. Turns out there is a reincarnation cycle policy from above. Spirits can stay here for a while after death. After they fulfill their wishes, they can get reincarnated. This woman is the manager of all the spirits in the funeral home. As soon as URI comes back to the funeral home, she is caught by the woman. Where do you think you're going? I wasn't going anywhere. I was just coming back home. The woman is telling that everybody here doesn't keep their promise. They just want to be with their family. And this makes her career accomplishment zero. But who would want to go up there when they die? URI points at a middle-aged woman. She cries every day because her son's business failed. Another woman is deeply worried because her daughter relapses back to cancer. They're all worried about their loved ones so they don't want to leave this world. The chubby woman is speechless. She seems to be strict on the outside, but she actually has a warm heart. Being dead is already tough. It's even harder to leave your family here. URI is eating offerings in the pagoda. She even asks the woman for a sip of alcohol. It turns out that today is her death anniversary. Her parents and her sister all come here. Her dad is holding her photo and crying non-stop. While her mom replies that. She left this world before her parents. She doesn't deserve pity. Her mom is still so harsh. Although she said it didn't hurt, she silently cries in the restroom. My daughter. Today is URI's death anniversary as well as her daughter's birthday. When Sia Wu is sleeping. She touches Sia Wu's face. It looks like she doesn't want to leave her daughter. The next day, URI wakes up next to her daughter. She seems to have seen another spirit in the house. She goes to the living room and kicks him out. Because kids have such weak energy, you'll soak up her energy if you stay. But she is also a spirit so she can't do anything anyways. Not long after, Sia Wu goes out and stands in front of her. She thought that Sia Wu would pass through her but she takes a detour. URI then calls Sia Wu. Her daughter immediately replies. URI is too scared that she falls to the ground. It's not good for her daughter to see ghosts. She quickly goes to look for the chubby woman. She says that children have weak energy. But you've been next to her ever since she was born so. If she can already sense and see a ghost. Other ghosts will know and swarm around her. Since she is still a kid, she can't tell humans and ghosts apart. She might be in a bigger danger. At school, many teachers are looking for Sia Wu. This little girl has weak energy, so she can see ghosts around her. After knowing this, URI wants to protect her daughter more. But then when she goes to her school, the teachers are looking for Sia Wu. Turns out Sia Wu has seen a kid ghost in the class. She doesn't know he's a ghost so she follows him. URI rushes to look for Sia Wu. In the kitchen, she finds a spirit running out of the freezer. She goes through the freezer and sees her daughter lying in there and breathing hard. URI goes to the corridor to call the teacher but nobody could hear her. So she goes back to the freezer and screams Sia Wu's name. Sia Wu seems to have heard her voice, so she gently kicks the door. Which helps a teacher passing by to see her little legs. Sia Wu is brought to the hospital. Her dad is going to the hospital as well. 
looking at her daughter on the hospital bed, you are I know it's time to leave. I'm sorry. She keeps questioning the deities, you told me that I can stay here. Why not? Why can't I stay? Do you call yourself a deity? Does that mean you can do anything? How can you be a deity? During Christmas, URI looks at her husband and Sia Wu walking on the street. She is hurtful, not wanting to leave. But her husband suddenly looks at her with strange eyes. A drop of snow also falls and melts on her shirt. People on the street also bump into her. The deities seem to have listened to her questions. Is URI returned to her human form?